Hello, people of the internet. So, um, I've got my new drone here for now. I still haven't really come up with a name for it, so next week, probably have come up with one. So, yeah. Uh, wait till next week to figure out what that is. Anyway, uh, for now, I'm just gonna call it Frank Jr., as I was doing before. Uh, like my fishy. But, yeah. So, I was, I brought this guy, because, uh, yeah, I'm gonna be doing t a tutorial. This one, personally, I think is gonna be the best tutorial, because I've actually gotten a little bit of more information upon this one than the other ones when I did theirs. So, yeah. First part of this tutorial will be actually showing, like, I actually need to first, first show that this is its back, and you always want the back pointing towards you. So that when you're controlling it using the stick, it's actually a whole lot easier. So then when you try to go forward, it's actually going forward. Because if you had it like this and you tried to go forward, it'd be doing that. So yeah. I'm going to turn it on. So the button's right here. Well, first you got to make sure that the battery's in. you got to charge it for about, I don't know, a couple hours. A light blue light will come on. Then you got to press the on button. To prep it, you need to hit down, up, then down again. You'll hear a couple little beeps. That's how you know that it's actually prepped. Then you'll see there is a button here. That's to actually take off. Now I'm going to go put it on that little pedestal just so that it doesn't like attack me. And then yeah, I can actually show it taking off and everything. Yeah, it's a little ways away. I'm gonna try to put forward the camera. Just then there's so you can see it a little bit better. Now you see this. There's that button that I was talking about earlier. Now I'm gonna move it to the side a little bit. So then you can actually see the drone and thing. You hit it. It actually oh yeah, no. Okay. You know, it actually has a good spot to start off from. Otherwise, something bad will happen where it'll let the grass. Uh, so yeah. Put it back up there. I'm gonna put it on a nice spot. And I can actually get it from there. Okay. Well, I just oriented the card differently so then it's actually sitting out of the grass. So I'll show that again. Gotta make sure it's staying in frame. Press the button, you'll see the little thing is going, it just gets up. Then this one, like if you see the whole thing, this pulls it up, this drops it down. Uh, you can actually hold it down to like emergency land it, uh, worst case scenario. Or you can press the same button that you started off from, where it'll land itself nicely. Uh, I can grab it, and I can actually show off what what the other joystick does. Uh, I need to angle that a little differently. I can show off what this one does because I already did this one. I can, there's there's a secret function, not really secret, and yeah, I can show off that in a second. Put it back into the center. So you want to start it off like you did before. You can start it early by pressing that, this time I didn't. So this, this one actually moves it. You push it back, you bring it back, you bring it towards you. Push it forwards, it goes forwards. Side goes to the side, and the other side goes to the other side. Now I'm going to just try to bring it back into angle. Because it's a little bit windy. And I have it on the first speed, so it's a bit slow. Then, as I said before, you can hit that. It lands itself. Oh. So yeah, it lands itself down there. And yeah. Now, uh, I'm going to bring it up here because it's easier to show off what this does. Uh, one's actually a lot closer. 
and it's also a lot easier when I'm not trying to fly it and show off at the same time. So I brought it over here. Now I'm gonna have to use both hands. So in this hand, gotta try to maneuver this differently. In this hand, you'll see that I have this button right here, or this short stick here. Now if you push it to the side, you might be wondering, so up is up, down is down, right? Then side to side, what does that do? So say you pushed it left like this, but actually, I said left, right? Then it would make it turn left like that, in case you move your positioning. And backwards. So yeah, that's that little thing, because that is also important for that. Now, uh, for pictures, I can't exactly do pictures, you can do pictures and videos. Uh, that would be, this is the controller, you'd want to tap this, press down on it, that's the video, or just press it for a picture. So yeah, that's how you'd take pictures and videos with it. I can't right now because I don't exactly have it all hooked up to my computer or anything, which means it's kind of stuck not taking any of that. Uh, so yeah, uh, that's not like the craziest thing with pictures, but I might as well include that. So yeah, I'm going to set it down one thing below, and I want to actually see if I can do it. Oh, I did it! Last time I showed that I failed. Oh yeah, I'm gonna quickly land it. Uh, just so I can show you guys, you'll see up there, I don't know if you can really see that, I'm gonna first try to zoom in with this one. This says stunt, or, I'm not gonna say it in French, or, and on that says speed. I, I'm not sure if you can really see that. This is speed, this is stunt, just in case you can't really see that. And yeah. I can actually grab the drone, I can put it back, I'm going to do that a lot in this video, and then I can explain all that stuff. So the most important is the speed, because you'll use that if you race them, you'll use it in races. If you want to do flips, you also need to have it in top speed. What I mean by that is you see that little button. You press it once, it goes, it beats twice. That means you're in second speed which is medium, basically. You tap it again, it'll go three times. That means you're in the fastest speed, and that's when you can start doing flips. If you tap it again, it'll just beep once, signifying that you're at the lowest speed, and that's what I had it at, just so I could easily show it off, and uh, not be crashing it into all those bushes, and the post. You know, it's kind of hard to have it at max speed, trying to maneuver it, trying to show off. So yeah, I'm going to lift it up. I'm not going to show that part. So then you want to change it to full speed as I said before. Make sure you don't hit bushes. So as I said before, change the speed to let be three times. And then the stunts. You want to do stunts. You want to click. I need to get it high enough off the ground. Then at maximum speed, only at maximum speed. I'm going to tilt it upward so you can see it a little better. But only at maximum speed can it do flips. I can push back over here. I need to try to keep that in frame. So you see that stunt button, as I was saying before. You, you know, bring it closer so you can actually see it. You press it, and it does flip. Uh, I mean, it's in full speed. I can show you what happens if it's not in full speed. So I'll click it. You'll see that it only beep once. Now, uh, what's next? Frank Jr., Frankie Jr., is flying a whole lot slower, uh, which is a good thing. And then look, now it's not even beeping when I hit in the thing. Another thing to know is when it's in full speed, I'm just going to boot it up to full speed, then I can show you another thing to do with tricks. So another thing with tricks is you have to hit the stunt button, right? And then it'll beep. And then you actually have to press with this stick actually have to press what direction you want to do that in. So, if I hit stun and then hit like that, it would flip like that. I'm actually going to show what that looks like a little bit closer because I think I was covering it with the control left. So this is John, right? You hit that same thing. I hit a wire! No! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! I hit the wire! It's 
flying. Um, I gotta get that down. Um, it's a little weird, so I gotta get that down, and then I can try to show that again. Um, you know, I actually do that properly so you can see what it looks like, and not trap it in the wire again. Got it down. And that's why you always need to have sticks anywhere near you so that you can save your drone when you get it stuck in a wire. Or a tree, or literally anything. Okay. Now what I was saying, hopefully this goes a little smoother this time. So you'll see that I accidentally have the camera facing you guys. Now that means the controls are reversed, so then I just spin it back how it's supposed to be. And boot them up. Bring them a little bit higher. And you'll see that I hit the stunt and then hit left. And it does like that type of thing. Or I hit right and it does the other direction. Uh, so yeah. I'm going to boot it back down to low speed, just because it's a little bit hard for the next one. Now, I'm just reading off the instruction manual, uh, which I'm not going to show, uh, because if you're watching this video, you want to know how to do it without looking into a mint. Now, uh, the first uh, train, like the first thing you can do to train your ability with the drone, is try to get it to do squares, or like try to get it to do a big circle. Not that. Try not to hit the bushes. You want to try to get it to do a big circle, like you have the starting point, right? Like the cardboard box, or not box, but the cardboard. You want to try to do a big circle around it, uh, so then you can get, you know, just so you can get the basic controls down. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to try that again, just so I can show you. As you can see, I am really, really good with it. Um, really good. Okay, so I'm gonna try to get it up. I actually want to show off what it looks like. Okay, try to get it off the ground a little bit. Try to do this big enough circle. And it's just you want to go around the little cardboard. Or even a square. Just like that. You just want to slide it, not like that, I keep crashing it, but you want to try to do a big loop around the uh, starting point. I'm going to get it back for one final time, and yeah, that was the end of the video. If you liked the video, like the video, didn't like it so much, don't like it, that's up to you. Liked so much you want to subscribe, that's also awesome. Uh, if you want to share it with a friend or two, that's also okay. And uh, if you didn't really like it, you can share it with an enemy. Or you can just share it with an enemy anytime around. That doesn't really matter. Either way, I'll be seeing you in the next video. If you click uh, the top left, you'll go to my uh, main drone, Spooky. His, uh, how to f fly him. Or, below that, you could see how to drive Carl. Either way, uh, see you in the next video. Hope you like this one. Bye!